Hello and welcome to the Black Ribbon Podcast. Thank you very much for tuning in today. I am Prolapsed joined by pigeon anus. That's all I have to say. You don't do it when Dan's here. <laughs> well, I feel like it's more educated when Dan's here. We actually have like proper topics. To Civil talk about. conversations. Civil. So when he's gone, I have to like fill the void with ridiculous. Just oh, no, kind I haven't of... been it recently. I mean, I, I have done it before when Dan's here, but I feel like that I'm that much of an asshole today that I feel like I should. You're just, share you're just it that grumpy, are you? I am. I'm, Who's I'm hurt you at work today? <laughs> Who hurt you, man? On this doll? Where? <laughs> Who touched you? Look at hell. Jesus. There. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I am joined by this fuckhead, and Hello. um, yeah, Dan ain't here this week. Dan is uh. Pulling a sickie or something. Pulling a sickie and going to work. Pulling a prolapsed anus. Why? <laughs> that, that's why. That reaction there is why. Yeah, but why do you have to go there? Because who makes that reaction? It's just... always been over this. No, no, but this this reaction is just kind of been like, why is this a thing? Why is this becoming a thing? It's because I've made it a thing. Well, I'm just going to move straight on to my first topic, which is uh, Pirates no, no, no. of the Caribbean. You come back to this prolapse. <laughs> no, no. I want to talk about Pirates of the Caribbean. Have you seen uh, it? No, what's that? Well, I don't know. You, uh... What's that? Me seen films? <laughs> Wait another five, six months, and then I've seen it. Oh, okay then. Well, I tell I've you what. Just watched... I've only just recently watched Logan. That's how far behind I am. Oh, Jesus, man. What did you think of Logan, Logan. then? Oh, I like Logan. Logan's good. It's a wicked film, isn't oh, it? That's really good. I, I'm looking for... I mean, it's very... Um, just hearing just Patrick Stewart swear is just... The it best was the really... It kind of threw the whole thing, didn't it? It was like, oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Jesus, I'm watching a darker film, which was yeah. amazing. It, they should definitely... Film should... You know, Marvel films or any superhero film should be that fucking dark. Yeah, I think it took a really cool twist on the story, and mm. certainly very interesting. And that little, that Laura, the little girl, is fucking badass. She was badass. And I saw her um, audition tapes the other day. All right. Um, they were doing the rounds or whatever, um, and she was the one who did... So, you know that scene when she's in the car talking to Logan, and uh, she's... She just, starts opening up and she's speaking Spanish or something. Is that the one? She's kind of quiet and then she just bursts and she starts oh, yeah. shouting at him in Spanish and oh yeah, punches him, rattling, him, punching him on the arms and all this sort of stuff. That was all improv by her during that um, initial screening. Oh shit! Yeah, That's it's like cool. they loved her performance so much from that that so they pulled her in. And just went, yeah, you're perfect. Like, Patrick Stewart thought she was amazing. Mm -hmm. And literally, from what I've heard, a lot of the cast and crew just thought she was fantastic. And for a child actor, Jesus Christ, that is high, high praise. Mm. Isn't it, really? But yeah, Patrick Stewart says it. But it was a good film. I really did enjoy it. And it was much more heavier and actually felt actually meaningful rather than just, oh, look at all these superpowers. Yeah. Yeah. Which is good. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go back to Pirates of the Caribbean now. So uh, when yeah, you watch but... that in five months, uh, five yeah, months, holler yeah. back at me. But no, right. I actually I actually kind of enjoyed it. Now, I don't think Dan's going to probably enjoy it. In fact, we could probably go have a look at his review right now. But um, no, I actually kind of enjoyed it. But you it's... are quite the Pirates of the uh, Caribbean fanboy. I'm not so much a fanboy. You are there with like, oh, Jack Sparrow. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! That's right, Jack Sparrow. Take, taste my salty sea. All right, let me just see what Dan has rated it. Because Dan is normally, oh my god. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> what did you rate it? Three out of ten. Oh wow, yeah, you really hated it. What would you rate it then? I'd probably say a six or a seven. Oh, so it's not that good then. No. <laughs> What a lot of people, barely what I think, barely passable, I'm sorry, but I could give you barely passable. And that would be the counsellor, which still hurts me to this day. Um, no. 
the Pirates of the Caribbean, the franchise, is something that isn't... It's sort of like The Expendables. It's a fun, quirky adventure. Um, the characters are very funny. And you kind of find that character that you like the most out of a selection of people sort of thing. The story, I thought was quite good. I quite liked it. Um, and the visuals were also fantastic. Javier Bardem, fantastic. Was it better than the last one? That's all I have to say. Because the last one for me, what was it? The, um... That was Blackbeard. Yeah, that was shit. The Fountain of Youth. Yeah, that was awful. Really bad. I don't think that was too bad. I thought it was absolutely awful. I mean, Blackbeard was cool as a character, but... Oh, good God, it was messy. Yeah, but Ian McShane isn't the most... He's not the best actor in the world, is he? Let's be honest. But, I mean, but it was then... just... Uh, it felt really... Me- it felt like they were just taking the, the drags of what they had left and just trying to shove it in together into this little, into a film, and it wasn't, wasn't properly written properly, and the characters were all over the place. Uh, I mean, there the whole mermaid thing few... and the, the priest. Mm. Shut the... F- Fuck, oh, it man. was a little like bit the... weird, yeah. Good God, what this is a useless development. Couldn't care less. They just vanished into a pond. Great. Well, the only yeah. problem I have is we've kind of moved away from um, sort of the main characters as such. We got some new people in the front row. Um, hmm. The are sort of generic. They're nothing amazing. Nothing special. Johnny Depp once again is pretty funny as captain sparrow mm. and honestly so just the... go back to watch though isn't it the captain, captain let's see what let's see what uh johnny depp can do with captain jack sparrow yeah, it's, it's see what he's doing enjoyable today. character it's witty um and i will give it this when it opened up it opened up with that usual trope that there is this big thing happening to open up mm. the open up the uh thing open mm. up the movie and yeah sure it was somewhat of a general Pirates of the Caribbean movie. It is what you would expect from a Pirates movie, I think. And if you go in there, not with a sort of clear head, just go in to enjoy something, something a little bit mindless, funny, and just general entertainment, I think it's very good. And like I was saying, Javier Bardem is fucking wicked to have to begin with and his character was pretty cool um minus a few of the visuals for um johnny depp young johnny depp where he had literally no sort of muscular frame on him when he was younger he looked like he just had a flat chest completely he looked like a cardboard chest or something like that so it looks like me no he literally had nothing like literally so he had his uh like vest and it was like fucking right below just above his belly button essentially is where it fucking opened up and literally there was nothing on his body it was just like that doesn't look right it's like there's sort of no even there's not even a definition there of like a potential sort of pectoral muscle or something like that just or rib cage to be he was supposed to be young in this, in that scene. That's yeah. like only one scene, but I don't know how long ago that was. So I really didn't follow that much. But like, it's a fairly enjoyable movie. I'm not going to slag it off because I do love sort of the pirates. I love that, and the tall ships were fantastic. And it's just so you should watch Black Sails, man. I know, I know, I should. I know. Fucking pirates. Fucking pirates. You say it yourself. I know, man, but I can invest a couple of hours in a fucking movie, but you're talking about how many episodes is in that? Uh, It's a couple of seasons. Three seasons. Not even that long. How many episodes in each season? Maybe about 10 or 11. That's a 10 or 11 hour commitment for each season. Watch one a day. Yeah, but I mean, I've got other shit to do. One hour. You'll find it turns into two hours. Yeah, but that's not good. I have jobs to be looking for. Yeah, you can do, you can, you can do an hour. You, know, you just book apply. Oh, that was interesting. Apply. Oh, while I'm doing this, I want to. Oh, watch the jobs I apply for don't do that. But um, 
Well, then just go find no, this they, one. They find ask, one job, one oh, yes, tell me about thing. this. Tell me about what this is and tell me... Uh, You've got enough time this? to watch shitty Pirates like, of the Caribbean. You've got enough time to watch Black Sails. It's Sam, not I shitty. Say. That's what I'm saying. It is an enjoyable movie. Well, you're going to enjoy Black Sails. <sighs> but moving from Johnny Depp, let's move over to Assassin's Creed. Yeah, uh, I've uh, vaguely heard about something about this. I'm just kind of going uh, off of the black sails thing here, but um, uh, right in my mouth, you have this. It was all a trap. You bastard. Yeah. Boom. Um, is we have the new Assassin's Creed protagonist, seemingly leaked by T-shirt. Uh, did you have a look at that? Yeah, I did see the uh, the leak. Yes, I did see it. He looks pretty cool, doesn't he? No, yeah, I mean I've. He's called I mean, Bayek. There's so many so by Yek, and it's got a lot of Egyptian hieroglyphics on there, so hopefully it will be in Egypt. Which I think will be cool. Have they done, have they done a thing they've in Egypt? They've not done Egypt. Egypt. No, they've not they've done, done Egypt like, before. Asian, like China, and they've done like... Well, no, they didn't really do China. Let's be honest there, that was the uh, side-scroller. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, they've done similar kind of things like that, haven't they? They've done all kinds of... I mean, you do not, yeah, do not if you're see talking those about as the part actual... of the... No, because they don't really delve into the full lore of it. And, okay. yeah, so in the main games, we've hit um, Asia. Uh, but, well, I say the Middle East, really, isn't it? I'm trying to think of where else. We've hit the UK. And we've hit the Caribbean. Italy, of course. I'm trying to think of where else. Lots of places. Yeah, yeah but they've suppose. never hit Egypt, but he does look badass in that picture. Yeah, I suppose. I mean, I'm... Um... And yeah, also, we'll if see. you get to ride boats down the Nile, that'll be sick. Ride boats? I, I seem to think... I seem to remember hearing something about naval combat returning. I did enjoy like, naval combat. That's yes, cool. please! I love that. It was one of my favourite mechanics. Because I was that stupid arsehole that would spend forever at sea doing nothing but sailing. Yes! Upgrading your boat. Not even that, just sailing. I, that. I, I, always, I liked to go on, because there was like legendary ships that you, can, that you could fight, wasn't it? Yes. Upgrade your ships so you can take them on. That was yeah, the Man of Wars. When you finally did it, it was so satisfying. Like, yes, that's right! Fuck you! Yeah. That's right. So I got my salty taint, you bastard. You remember the, uh... Oh, it was Black Sails, but you had the, um... The legendary. It was actually a pair of ships. Oh, vaguely, yes. I do remember and that. And they kind of came out of the mist. And it was just yeah. like, oh, fuck. That was and then fun, it just though. got railed. But yeah, it was so... It was, honestly, it was one of my favourite aspects of that game. The once they started adding the naval combat, I think that was where number three started. Got it right hmm. with that, where they started to include things like that. So um, no, I can't wait for that to return. Thoroughly, thoroughly good. Oh yeah, and America. Of course, we've been to America as well. America, America. Fuck yeah. But no, don't nothing interested to you about that then. I mean, well, I mean, so there's some like, Assassin's Creed games that I found really enjoyable, and then which what, which one was it? I find well, I think it was Unity. actually the American one. Oh, just... number three, yeah. Well, that is considered that the worst in the series, apart from you. Trash, yeah. and I didn't even bother buying the, the London one. Uh, Syndicate didn't even bother with it. I didn't mind that. I kind of enjoyed that. Uh, then Unity, I heard that all the, the bugs and stuff. I thought, nope, I'd avoid that as well. So I mean, I'm not. I've well, Unity was before the London one. Oh, yes, fine. But, I'm not going chronicle. But yeah, chronicle. that thing was fucked yeah. to believe. Uh, fucked I think you, you even told me, so like, oh, it's really bad, it's really fucked, it's buggy as shit, or something, and then I thought, oh, fuck it. Yeah, I'll but they, because that was their first launch onto the new console, new generation yeah. consoles, um, but they also released Rogue at the same time. Oh, uh, yeah. Rogue I've avoided the... all of that. I think Rogue. I was un unemployed during that time, so I didn't just didn't have the money to do it, and then... Rogue? Thoroughly worth it. Oh, right. Because it follows a Templar. Yeah, then it kind of goes into it doesn't touch story elements of three, like some of the characters or something, if I remember correctly. Yeah, there was a few mixes between three and four. Yeah, uh, so you yeah, do I'm, meet 
Conway yeah. and a few of the others. And yeah. it also comes in, I think there is a slight crossover to Unity as well at some point, but it was a wicked game. Really, it was. I did thoroughly enjoy that. And they have patched Unity, so it is fixed. So if you find it for dead cheap, pick it. Oh, maybe. Maybe I will. Yeah. It'd be worth, worth the hours you put in, I think. Especially if you can pick it up for like 10 quid or something. <laughs> Yeah, Although so on the I've, I've got so support. many games to finish. I haven't even finished Mass Effect. I know you I haven't mean, either. Yeah, I haven't even finished Sniper Elite, so let's not go over there. Um, oh, fuck, what was I saying? Um, yeah, if you go onto the Uplay store and you have a look at the fucking Assassin's Creed, they're charging a fortune for them bastards. Really? How much? Yeah! Absolute fucking stonking amount. Was that like, like that all game of them, is not from worth one to... that. Well, I, don't the original think, one. I don't think they even have all the games on. They do have the all the games on there, but they're, they're just overpriced. Oh, fuck that. You just Can't sit there fun. and go, that game is not worth that anymore. It's like I would have paid that a couple of months after launch sort of thing. And I still think uh, the most recent one that came out is like 30 quid or something. And it's just like, oh, fuck no that. way. I'm not paying that. Not I'll just save up 60 quid for another game. <laughs> Exactly, you may as well just focus that on a new game or mm. go and wait for the summer sale which comes at the end of the month. Yeah. Exactly. Hmm. Yes. But, uh, yes. Let's move on. Let's move on. Do you got anything to add? Uh, I mean, I've got a tiny rant. A, ti- a well, tiny no, rant? Yeah. You've got a rant? I've got a rant. Oh, really okay. Good. I mean, rant of rumours I've been hearing. I mean... Bring it back. So you know, uh, obviously, you know, I'm quite a huge Square Enix fan. I enjoy, I pretty much buy every kind of Square Enix game. Oh, Square Enix. Square Enix, yeah. I was gonna say Square. What Square Enix? Enix. Square Enix. Square Enix. Square Enix. Square Enix. Square Enix. All over your face, bitch. Oh. Oh yeah, enjoy that. Um. So there've been rumors about that. It's uh. Well, they teased. I think it was the was it two year or two years ago that obviously. Kingdom Hearts 3 was going to come out with the road of traders. And same with Final Fantasy 7, the remake as well. You've seen traders for that, I assume. You haven't seen it, have you? Nope. You, you human shit. Well, perhaps you, you if you it. would send things into the chat so I could go, oh, Josh wants to talk about that? Cool. You, you haven't seen Final Fantasy 7, the new trailers, for the, for the remake at all. Did you even play Final Fantasy 7? Oh, I don't you know. didn't, did you? I you didn't, know. did you? No, you didn't. You're dead to me. Fuck this. I'm out. This is it. I can't do it anymore. That's it. Fuck it out! Anyway. The planning they're going to do it um, in episodes. Like oh, episodic. snap. That Yeah, that sounds bad already. Yeah. Yeah, they did That's it with what, Hitman and it fucked it, didn't it? Yeah. So the Square Enix haven't learned their lesson with Hitman. And, they, well, I mean, Final Fantasy VII, I can slightly let go a bit more. I mean, I, I enjoyed Final Fantasy VII, but if I can... If, it's, if they do it in, like, really well, then I can... You know, really dramatize some certain bits. Fine, I can take that. I can, I can, I can live with that. But Kingdom Hearts three, fuck no. Are you shitting me? It's just, just because they they've poorly timed schedules, they have to do it in episodes. No, 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 no. I've already waited fucking five years or even longer for three. I can wait a bit longer if you finish it. I'm not wasting fucking bullshit sixty quid for episodes. Piss on that. Sixty you know, quid per episode. No, it won't be per episode. But you know what I mean? For 60 quid, I want the game up fucking front. I'm not going to wait, you know, little tiny snippets here and there. No. No, 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 no. Well, I mean, hopefully, it's only rumours. I don't think it's actually been fully confirmed. But it's still, it was supposed to come out right about now. In fact, I think it was the initial release was. I think it's going to come out now, probably summer 2018 now. Well, how the fuck is they... that game taking so long to come out? I don't know. They've released like, loads of like trailers for it. I don't mean to be it, nasty, really but let's be honest here. Kingdom Hearts isn't really a graphically intense game from what I remember. The, they've switched up the engines and stuff, so it, lo- it looks very different. I mean, I'm not 100% sold on the new art style and stuff, but I mean... Uh... Have they gone Final Fantasy with it? Not so much, because remember it's Disney characters as well, so they can't really go full Final Fantasy. Yeah, that's what I just find kind of weird. It's like, it's kind of like a Disney cartoony style to begin with. It's like, where can they go? It's it's more kind of, 
much more kind of Pixar kind of animation style rather than what it was before, which is more of a it well like a PlayStation Two game. It's it's just they've kind of they've kind of caught up um, with, the, with the graphic style. I can't really better describe it. I mean, I mean they've yeah. been releasing Kingdom Hearts themselves. They've been releasing games. They re- they released the whole lineup for the new consoles pretty much twice. I think twice they did like 1.5 1.8 two these are all games by the way these are all, you know fully priced games uh two 2.5 2.8 and then the whole lot as a collection and then uh, it got really messy and then they did like the dream drops to, uh, it's loads of stuff they released loads of games which well, no, why you keep doing that? Games. well yeah because I'm, I'm throwing their money suckers like money you. In it. that's it <laughs> Yeah, little suckers like you, just like exactly. I mean, right. I've, I've got some of them. I've got. All I've, right, I've, they're, I've they're no sat shame. there with a fishing rod, just going. All right, let's just put this on. That's it. Oh, I'm let's just bending over and like presenting myself. So I'm just going. Yeah, that's it. You know, give me Kingdom Hearts three. I present my anus to you. Your prolapse but, anus. That's why I present my prolapse trunk anus to you. Ah. <laughs> 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 So I'm like, come here, Mickey. Come on. Come on, Mickey Mouse. Oh, get away. My dog's called Mickey, you bastard. <laughs> That's why I said Mouse at the end of that. I thought, wait a minute. Your dog's called Mickey. This might seem weird now. You sick fuck. Uh, but still, like, come on, people. How long does it take to make a game? I mean, I know it like, took 15, like, nearly 10 years to make Final Fantasy 15, and they're still releasing I'm going to be more. perfectly honest, I don't think they're working on the games. If it's taken that long, I'm sorry, but... I mean, they're releasing you know, casual kind of, you know, updates, of tra- like, full-on, like, trailers of, um, you know, gameplay and stuff, so they are doing shit with it. Yeah, but I'm just um... kind of bewildered by the fact that it takes them so long. I understand the process is not easy, there's a lot of things to I think go I've into. Heard, I did hear rumours about that they are go, it's just like... leaving quite quickly. I think I've, I've heard, I think I've read something ages ago there. What, that, staff that, turnover? They're always, yeah, they've got a high, start, turn, a high staff uh, turnover, and uh, so obviously when that happens, they're like, oh, I've got to keep them updated, you know, new staff, oh, okay, this is what we've done before and stuff. So I can understand that, but still, come on, people! Yeah, but you're looking at something so... For instance, let's talk about Rockstar, who also right, okay. have a fairly high staff turnover that we talked about last week. Oh, okay. And they'll delay their game, and they'll promote it, and all this sort of stuff. And those games, you kind of expect them to take a few years. Like GTA, and then they'll put another part of a sequence in. Hmm. And that sucks. Every two or so years, that sort of cycle will continue. Hmm. And that whole development time is focused. One department will focus on that for two or three years and with COD you'll have people working two years in advance for that and fucking hell let's be quite honest the kings of rollout Ubisoft Mm. who released an Assassin's Creed game yearly Mm. up until recently and let's be honest there was a fair, fair chunk of work that goes into that as well and I'm just kind of Bewildered they by the on the same engine though for each game is it the same one or does it new engine do you know um I think when they switched over to the next gen I think it was a new engine and new engine, it's yeah. quite potential that they switched again oh fair enough I mean, but, them that they can do that yeah but I mean Square Enix has that power to be able to I mean crank got... out a game yeah. I, I mean, understand the, the quality, games that they're working but... on at the moment. Uh, is obviously, the, the online, the online game. Um, they've got their new game coming out this month, like this, this week, in fact. This, this week or next week, or there's a huge expansion stuff. So I think quite a lot of their staff goes into developing that more than anything. I mean, they've got they've had a couple, a couple of small snippets of games. I mean, what else is going to be Square Enix? Not a clue, but Deus Ex got fucked over because I heard that was dog shite. I never got into uh, Deus Ex, I've Neither always heard I, bad things. Square Enix, let's be honest, they've had a pretty shit few years. Um, well, that's debatable. I, I would debate that. I mean, well, Life, Final Fantasy is, Life 15, is Strange despite it's is one of the other of... things I've heard quite popular about them. What the Final Fantasy uh, Life is Strange. Oh, yes, yeah, Life is Strange, yep. Yeah. I heard fairly decent things about that. But the big... next game was uh, Neo Automata, which I've got, which has got really high reviews. They did that? They did that. I had no it's, idea. It's it's looked, I thought that was an old game. game. No, no, no. Well, it's a, it's, um, a, I thought it was a, like a sequel of an old game, yeah. 
oh. for a video game. I mean, they are, let me. I wouldn't. I would, that be your previous statement that they have shit come years. I would hundred percent disagree with. Um, I mean, for example, like some of the Tomb Raider games they did that was they were really good. They were ages like the, ago. Um, the last one was shite. Good, good. Um, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the ad. Uh, the the, the last one. Tomb Raider was awful when you compare Rise, it to the rest. Rise of Tomb Raider. I mean, it the was first one so was amazing. bad and all that god bullshit. <laughs> oh, and Jesus, it's, it's, it's I don't give a shit. Religion. It's always. It's had, not it always a thing changes. against religion. It is literally we're going to call him Jesus. He is going Jay's to be like, Jesus, yeah. and it's just like, oh, just get off Whatever. his dick. I don't care. It's like that kind of ruined it. It kind of threw the whole sort of magic Tomb Raider out of it and went, yeah, we're just going to suck the Bible off for any information we can get. It could have gone so well, and then they mm. fucked it with that. And the mechanics were fairly dog shy on that one as well. I'm fairly enjoying it. I'm not finding any problems. I mean, you, I know you were having quite a lot of optimization issues but back then, didn't you? What were you saying to me? Well, I played I'm, it on Xbox. Yeah, but... Xbox. I mean, I'm not having any problems. I'm really finding it quite smooth. And I mean, I haven't got too far in the game, so I haven't got too much into the plot. So I, no, I didn't um, enjoy it at all. But uh, no, I'm not doing too bad. And near Automata, I'm probably about a quarter of the way through. I stopped for play. Last I played, I played Fire Emblem instead. It's just some next level Weibo shit, isn't it? Oh, uh, pretty much, yeah. yeah. I mean, yep. it's it's very much so the meaning of the soul things, which I quite enjoy. Those kind of. Deep... Meaning of the soul. You know, like if they're because they're robots and they don't know what you know that kind of you know. Oh, like, like, that. Do I exist? Kind of thing. Oh, like the Geth. Yes, like the Geth. It's like that, pretty much, from their point of view and stuff. But you know, it does have that anime kind of uh, weibo shit, as you call it, um, thrown in there. You know, good old, um, good old that. All that shit and stuff. But I mean, I'm, nice I want to get back into um... on, the, on this uh-huh. uh, podcast. It's nice that we have a category on this podcast, so we can just go. Oh yes, we both shit. All right, we both shit. I mean, I've got to speak your language. It fits gotta... in that corner. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I, you know, I will be honest. Pretty much all the games I play are we both shit. According to you. God damn you, Josh. God damn it. Someone's got to. Someone's got to speak for them. I, 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 I volunteer as tribute. That's disgusting. Yep. No, I just. I mean, that's my rant anyway. Just kind of. I think annoying. that was. Yeah. God, episodic, episodic things for large games. God, no, please don't do it. And they're doing I mean... it more and more, and I think Square Enix will continue doing more and more like that. Oh, because yeah, that's just they, how they, they want to operate, it. and they don't give it's... a shit. No. I mean, like, they actually... should have learned from Hitman that, that it's just not going to work. I mean, I think they're. I can't even think of what's going through their mind of, oh, this seems like a good idea. Anyway, that's my rant over. I'm not going to touch on it anymore. You wanted to talk about Overwatch, did you not? I did. Let me see if I can find the uh, list of changes. So there's been the PTR update, which I've been playing the uh, moon map. On oh, is it good? Uh, yeah, it's pretty fun. Um, it's fairly confusing to begin with. It's got lots of uh, channels and a lot of pathways. Yeah, it's not like a straight. I mean, there is a straight point to the to the, to the point, isn't there? But there's lots of little kind of. Yeah, you've got a jack, lot of different directions that you can go. Yeah, but um, yeah, I wanted to talk about the actual uh, physical changes to the characters. So, <laughs> first off, we have McCree. His dead eye ability has changed. So, <clears throat> his uh, target now locks on um, after zero point two seconds instead of zero point eight. So it's that pretty much insta lock. Crazy. Yeah, and the damage accumulated over the first one seconds increased from twenty to eighty damage per second after the first second is so changed. So it does space. more damage. Yeah. So it does more damage the longer it's charged as well. Yeah. So it can be pretty devastating. So it says here, McCree's ultimate ability is receiving a speed boost, so it will now be a high noon much faster. Not only that, but it will also do more damage more quickly. This has the potential to turn his ultimate from zone from a zone in the ability to a more deadly way to clear out numerous low health enemies. Blizzard describes the change as making his ultimate more flexible and powerful, which I highly agree with, because whenever I play McCree and I've sat there and gone, it just feels like forever before 
Yeah, it kind of you've locks got to on. time it just right. I mean, you've got to have it so that the. Point I don't think is it's always so just the chaos. timing it just right. I think you have to be. There was an element of luck with it, because as soon as you heard that noise, a lot of people just ran. Yeah, you got to you got to run, but I think that's why you got to do it when the rest of your team is like keeping them busy. They can't focus. They can't look. They're going to be in the right position, so they you're not 100 percent in view. Um, you know, if, you, if you're jumping down from something, or if you're like just coming out of a corner, um. Yeah, there, there, there was a bit of kind of effort you got to do into it. You don't just come out going, "Hi, noon, everyone's dead." Yeah, well, it's not so much everyone's dead, but it just felt like it just took too long. It, it sits too there long. too long. Um, so then we move on to Reaper, um, which is a big one actually. So um, they've actually removed his health orbs. Yeah, I mean, no, um, I quite like that. I quite like that, but what it does now is that he now regains 20% of all damage done to heroes as health. Yeah. So he's got a passive healing ability, which is really good, I think. I think that will change the whole thing, because he will actually come back to doing what he's supposed to be doing, which is being a tank buster. Yeah. Which he hasn't quite been effective as since the Roadhog changes and the Diva changes and all that. He's not really been very aggressive towards them if you know what i mean hmm. now he gets that uh, change which will be it'll be interesting to see how that works for him um but moving straight on to roadhog which is where the big ones are where a lot of people are debating whether this is good or bad so roadhog his head hitbox size is reduced by 20 percent so it's harder to get a headshot on roadie I find um, it difficult to shoot a roadhog in the head anyway. He's yeah, got to get you just away. hit most of his fucking flab. Uh, mm. But his scrap gun has had a big change. I think what really annoys me is his ultimate hasn't had a change. Because his ultimate just feels kind of useless, if you know what I mean. He feels like he's got such a weak... The range of it needs probably updating a bit. But I think it definitely has its uses, just to push everything off the point and stuff, keep things away. Um... Yeah, but... I'm on about damage-wise. It just feels like you've got other heroes that do significantly more damage for mm. a significantly crap ult or whatever, like an ability. He is literally shooting shards of metal at people. Mm. So it just feels a little bit weird. But um, his scrap gun, um, the clip size is increased from 4 to 5, so he has an extra shot, which, fuck me, I need, because I keep forgetting to reload when I pull someone in. I think um, I'll still forget with five. I think I'll still be like, oh, yeah. Oh, you might do, yeah, but I think it might just give you, because we've been playing for a while, we might still be kind of used to that number four. Mm. So I think we might be okay there. But um, the fire rate is increased by 30%, so you can shoot more often, but the bullet damage has decreased by 33%. So, so yeah, so he can, pull, so he he can cannot, shoot more and... He can shoot more, but he will not insta kill some heroes now when he hooks them in uh, i got mixed feelings about that but... well certain heroes he could insta kill in one and it was just like yeah. fuck me yeah the, the point was to, to avoid the hook isn't it and keep an eye on when that hook is coming and stuff um yes yeah, so i'm says... interested to see how what it feels like anyway to play him and play against him so it says here the roadhog is receiving the most changes of the three heroes but overall he still seems strong reducing his headshot hitbox will help out in a big way against heroes like tracer and genji while the changes to his gun definitely weaken his hook and primary fire combo to offset the damage nerf they increase his fire rate and clip size so blizzard says his dps is roughly the same it appears that Roadhog will now need to hit a headshot to one-shot a hero with 200 health points, just like these practice range bots. Which is what I think should have been done, because if he mm. could get a body shot on you and you just got 200, you would you were fucked. Yeah. And if, yeah, he, he kind of... Likes, I was actually reading some people were likening him to Reaper in that, that he was a really effective tank buster when he's a tank. Hmm. So it I can was, see that, yeah. Yeah, it kind of neutralized the Reaper in that effort. Yeah, so yeah. you might be seeing more Reapers in the meta. Um and you'll definitely see be seeing more Reapers, McCree. Quite a lot anyway, but it'd be quite cool to see more McCree anyway. I like to play a bit more McCree. 
So the buffs to both McCree and Reaper seem necessary as the two of them have seen scarce playtime in recent months in the current meta. Reaper has been the least played offence hero by a long shot, with even Sombra gaining more playtime than him. McCree is also really seen lately, with DPS slots instead being taken up by Tracer, Soldier and Genji. The Roadhog change is curious and will be very interesting to test out, even after the Blizzard implemented Hook 2.0 changes they, uh, that left hooked heroes further away from the big guy, he was still able to do a one-shot majority of the cast. Now with a 33% damage reduction, that may no longer be the case. A number of UI changes and bug fixes also accompany the PTR update, along with the new Assault map, Horizon Lunar Colony. The PTR server is now live on PC and ready for testing. And uh, we should hear about that new hero at some point soon as well. Yeah, I mean, I've heard lots of kind of teasers about it, isn't it? It's supposed to be, um, uh, I, forgot, I forgot the name of it now, I did see it when, the, um, when I read the article. Um, it's supposed to be like a, a, an animal-based one or something, wasn't there? Teasing yeah, well, the whole thing is they would test subjects up on the Horizon Moon Colony, and that's yeah. why Winston's going back up there, so it's an, it's got to be a creature of some sort. Hmm. I think they did discuss... Um, the, obviously, the designer of, of one of the other characters that it was one of their pre designs for a character was a cat with a jetpack. Obviously, there's been quite a lot of changes and mix ups of it. So it'd be cool if it, it was like a some sort of cat or a. Yeah, but can you. Oh, I hate to be that person, but you're going to see so many. Oh, it's a cat! I'm going to play the cat! Sort of thing. Yeah, it's fair enough. Yeah, and like Twitch streamers, the boob streamers are going to be playing the cat because oh, it's so cute. Sort of thing, yeah. So, so and also gonna Kay's going to play it as well. Cat! Yep, okay. Yep. I mean, what do you think the next hero is going to be? What I do don't think, know. Do um, you think it's going to be... Let's narrow it down a bit. Tank, attack, port. Well, first. I don't think it would be a tank, if I'm perfectly honest. If, no, if it does turn, to, turn out to be a cat with a jetpack, I think it's more likely to be a healer. Okay, another support. Yeah, that'd be quite cool to have another support character. Because I understand we've got An um, Anna, but... I think we should have a defense hero now, I think. Yeah, but what can you think would be defense? Because you've got Winston, who's a giant fucking monkey. What else is there? But he's, he comes with the tank, practical. doesn't he, really? Yeah, but what else would be practical? Sort of sh Unless you've got a rhino. I don't know, but I mean, you tank. think of defense characters. I mean, like Hanzo, you don't really think of the defense character so much, but... Well, like I've said to Loki when we were playing the other day, uh, Jeff Kaplan said they weren't really... They're just there for a kind of basic idea. Then mm. they're not set in stone. Quite a lot of the characters are quite fluid among them. Yeah, I, I have it was no quite idea. Interesting, actually. If, you, uh, if you do go to the Wired YouTube channel, uh, Jeff Kaplan did a uh, tech thing on there the other week. It was actually quite funny. It was All quite right. good. Quite a good listen, actually. Answered a load of people's questions. He was doing like customer service. It was pretty funny. But there, uh, yeah, that's been the Overwatch updates. Um, it'll be interesting. I, I don't know. I think we're just gonna have to wait and see here. Personally, I think it would be quite cool to have another healer, another aura-based healer, maybe. Yeah, that'd be quite cool. Or actually, we haven't cool. had a DPS, have we? Or have we? Um, had Sombra. Sombra was the last one, wasn't she? Uh... So we've had... So it started with Anna. Uh, yep. Then it was, it was Sombra. Sombra. I thought it was Sombra first, but yeah, you could be right. No, it was Anna. No, it was Anna. Okay. I'm more sure it was Anna. Then Sombra. Then... Zaya, wasn't it? Zaya. Zaya was Zaya wasn't out of the original one, was she? Yeah, she was. No, oh, I thought she wasn't. Then it was Arissa. All right. So you had healer, DPS, tank. So really, it would kind of have to fit into that defense slot. I don't. Hmm. I don't know what it could be. I'm. Because I, I can't see, really right? think of a defensive guess. cat, you know? And this is well, like a I'm, humanoid we, cat. I don't really even know if it is going to be a cat. I mean, that yeah, but this is, what I'm trying to, this is what I'm trying to think. Like, what creature could be a defensive creature that would look 
well in the universe. I think they universe. didn't say it would be a small character. Small character. I know, and a defensive small character is like, what? It'll be interesting. Hopefully we'll hear something next week. Yeah. But, uh, oh, shit, me. Duh. I think we'll early enough is next I... week, do you? Okay. Well, we'll... I'm sure we'll get more information as the week goes on because the PTR will probably start rolling the new map out next week. Oh yeah, that's true. But um, no, did you hear about uh Jim Carrey? Uh, you did send the link, yeah, about yeah. the accusation of he um murdering his girlfriend. I know. Well, not so much murdering, but uh, being behind it, hmm. um, influencing it maybe. I was like fucking hell, have you seen him recently? I haven't, no. Fuck me, dude. Search Jim Carrey. Yeah, Just literally do that right now. It's like, holy shit. Jim, Jim Carrey, 2017 or something. He was on um, James Corden. That's one of the more recent ones. Silence. A big, big beard. Or she beard. This fucking giant beard to him, and he looks fucking weird. It's quite terrifying, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he looks so aged now. Jesus, how old is he now? He's got to be in his fifties. Okay, he looks quite old. Mm -hmm. He's a bit haggard. He certainly is. But uh, have you got anything else to wet? No, no, I've done my rant. I'm all at peace. Done now. your rant. You, you've calmed down now. No, I'm, I'm miserable. Thank you, Well, I will remind you of Kingdom Hearts, and I will say thank you very much for joining me. If you enjoyed this podcast and you would like more, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and tune in next Sunday for our next podcast. Pete sucks up prolapsed pigeon anus. Oh, Jesus Christ, you're a sick cunt. Yep. Bye. Bye. Jesus Christ. <laughs>